another character that they severely bastardized in the original cartoon. They turned him into a complete joke. He was about as lethal as a newly hatched duckling. The Shredder only appeared about four times in the run of the comics. Why? Because every time the Shredder would show up, you knew some badass shit was about to go down. The Turtles killed him repeatedly, and he would come back every time, bigger and badder than ever. And who better to play one of the most recognized villains of all time than professional Japanese bad guy? Kari Hiroyuki Tagawa. I know, Kari is heavily typecasted in these parts. But with good reason. While in real life he might be one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet, he still has the most evil looking eyes in the history of the world. Which is really important when playing the Shredder, since the eyes are the only things that remain visible after he donned his mask and helmet. Yes, he has already played his share of iconic villains, but I'm confident he still has one more left in him. Alright, fanboys and fangirls, this is it. The main event, as I am about to cast the Mean Green Team, the Heroes in a Half Shell, the Radical Reptiles, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now before I cast our main stars, please keep in mind that I'm casting them based on their personalities, not their voices. So for a moment, I'm going to ask you guys to please mute Michelangelo's surfer talk and Raphael's Brooklyn accent in your heads, and please concentrate on who they are as characters. Also, while I might be the first one to protest when young actors are casted to play well-established or older characters, in this case I have to make a big exception. After all, we're talking about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so young actors should play these characters, as opposed to a bunch of middle-aged men pretending to be teenagers. Alright, that's enough said. Let's get this party wagon rolling with everybody's favorite tech turtle. Theodore Roosevelt's quote, speak softly and carry a big stick, couldn't apply more to Donatello. Not only is he the resident genius of the group, but he's also the most caring and most compassionate of the team. So what we need is a young actor who can spout off limitless amounts of semi-scientific exposition, all the while still being lovable and charming. Who better than the Jackal? Bradford Anderson Better known for playing Damien Spinelli on General Hospital, Yes, I watched a couple of episodes of a soap opera, Try Not to Faint. Bradford has become the resident lovable nerd of General Hospital. Oh, oh, I'm just teaching Chrissy the finer points of hacking. Dude, she's got like a mind like a sponge. Honey. And he has quickly risen to become one of the most popular characters on the show, even to the point of becoming the subject of a best-selling book. With his growing popularity and endless charisma, Bradford could very easily go from nerd in front of a laptop to hero in a half shell. And now it's time for my favorite turtle. Not just because he knows how to have fun, but because he's a fanboy, just like me. Michelangelo. He is the spacey, immature goofball of the team. He's just as quick with his one-liners as he is with his nunchucks. Who the heck is that? Wayne Gretzky? On steroids? To play Mikey, the ability to push all inhibition and tact out of your head is key. And who better to channel those traits than... Ryan Henson. Mostly known for playing immature jerks in both Veronica Mars and the Friday the 13th remake, some of you might object to this choice since Mikey's such a beloved character. But you have to keep in mind that Mikey's very inconsiderate and annoying towards his brothers. What's that, Raphael? You're gonna have to speak up, dude. I can't hear you. Okay, I heard that. And that is where Ryan shines. Where's your brother? I think he took Ghost World up to his room. They're probably up there making love, or playing Dungeons and Dragons, or both, at the same time. They're both like 12 level dorks. The irony is that I always hear how in real life he is such a nice guy, and I'm sure he would appreciate the variety of getting to play a good guy for a change. This is it! It's been fun, guys! Even me, Rav? Even you, Mikey. Alright, let's cast that big badass turtle with a tood. Raphael. 
He's the temperamental bad boy whose wit is as sharp as his sigh. Hi, uh, we were looking for a muffler for a 77 Chevy. Raph is also the turtle with the strongest fan base. He has a no-nonsense attitude. He doesn't have time to goof off or come up with an elaborate plan of attack. He's got bad guys to pummel and lives to save. Impulsive, but effective. And to play this rage-filled reptile, I choose... Steven Strait. His intimidation factor is key, and when Steven is by far more threatening than the so-called villain in Sky High, you know that he has the presence and the attitude to do Raphael justice. I'm sorry that my dad put your dad in jail, but nobody talks about my father. Well, guys, fight or flight? I vote fight. You always vote fight. All right, last but not least, the fearless leader of the TMNMT. Leonardo. Disciplined and calculated, he walks the line on the racer's edge of his katana. Nobody takes the art of being a ninja as seriously as Leonardo. He takes his role as leader extremely seriously, and he often blames himself when the team fails. And to play him, I choose... Justin Chatwin. Yes, I know, he is the star of one of the most hated movies of all time. But that doesn't take away from his skill as a young performer. He is slowly but surely developing himself as a leading man. Not to mention, he has plenty of experience playing the young buck with everything to prove. But more importantly, he has no problem making fun of himself, which fits in with Leonardo's good nature. Great space, but it needs something. Hmm, bathtub? No. Kitchenette? Nuh uh I know! A souped up battle shell will be perfect right here! No, no, right here is the perfect spot to keep souped up battle shell! No, no, here! I think he's trying to tell you something, Donnie. So those were my choices for the cast of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. If you disagree, that's fine. Just voice your opinion in the comments section below. For now, I will leave you with the top three choices on whom you think should play Spider-Man in the upcoming Spider-Man movie. If you don't like them, you can't complain. They were your choices. Next week, it's back to basics. Until then, I'm Erod, and I'm the Blockbuster Buster. Wait a minute. If I'm gonna end this thing, I'm gonna end this thing turtle style, alright? Hit it, Ice. Not my website, suckers! Heroes in a half shell, turtle power! Okay, I am writing the script to the Ninja Turtles casting couch right now, and I shit you not, there is a turtle in my backyard. There it goes, there it goes. It's... It's like Providence. <laughs>